Nell'evoluzione della malattia di Crohn e della colite ulcerosa, le malattie infiammatorie croniche dell'intestino, conta anche il disequilibrio intestinale che si crea nel microbiota intestinale. Quant'è questo impatto e cosa si può fare? Quali sono oggi i nuovi scenari, gli sviluppi che avremo anche in futuro? Se ne parla anche a Carloforte durante la sesta edizione del corso avanzato nelle, sulle nuove sfide nella gestione delle mici e noi facciamo il punto con l'ospite d'onore del corso, il professor Guardiola. What is the connection between IBD diseases, Crohn disease and ulcerative colitis with the dysregulation of microbiota? Well, there is, uh, we know it, it is clear that uh, the, 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 the intestinal microbiota is very important in the pathophysiology of inflammatory bowel disease and uh, we need, we, we know that patients with inflammatory bowel disease have a, 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 a and uh, a clear dysbiosis. And there are some data that suggest that uh, this dysbiosis may favor inflammation or may be implicated in the, in the, in the inflammatory uh, process. The, the problem is that the inflammation also may uh, affect dysbiosis and therefore the dilemma between uh, causation and association is, is, is still here. But it makes sense to try to modify the microbiota in order to uh, improve the, 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 uh, the patients without uh, the adverse event associated with um, immunosuppression. And that makes uh, this uh, way attractive. You have shown today some studies about uh, the, um, the use of uh, fecal microbiota transplantation uh, in Crohn and ulcerative colitis. What are the principal results of this study and uh, um, do you think that uh, we can use uh, this uh, treatment uh, in future? Well, at, at the moment, most of the studies has been performed in ulcerative colitis and there is, uh, as far as I know, there is only one study in, in, in Crohn's disease. And the, the results are heterogeneous, but several of these studies suggest uh, a benefit with the transplantation, particularly in patients with, with ulcerative colitis and mild, moderate uh, disease. In patients with a severe disease, is very, uh, in my opinion, it's very unlikely that a transplantation could achieve uh, remission of the, of the inflammation. I think that the, the, the best a scenario is in patients with moderate disease, with moderate ulcerative colitis, in which fecal transplantation may avoid, uh, that's the idea, may avoid the use of uh, immunosuppressants. But at the moment, this is only for research, is, is not uh, yet in, in, in the clinical uh, practice. You, we need uh, more studies and we need to know more deeply, to go deeply in the, in the characteristics of the donor and the recipient that lead to a, a success of the, of, of, of the procedure. And finally, um, you have shown also results uh, um, that uh, uh, compare the use of uh, fecal microbiota uh, transplantation and the fecal microbiota plus uh, diet. Uh, um, there is difference uh, between uh, these two approaches. Well, in, in fact, the idea lying behind that is, is the same. So the idea is that uh, with a fecal transplantation, we hypothetically could uh, normalize the microbiota of patients with IBD and the diet uh, may help to maintain this, uh, may I say, normal or normalized uh, uh, microbiota. But this is a, an uh, attractive approach combining diet with uh, FMT.